The tunnels beneath Chabad headquarters in Brooklyn were immediately filled in with cement, ensuring that there would be no investigation to conflict with the nonsensical cover story that they were recently dug in response to the COVID lockdowns. In today's pop culture, it is speculated that they are related to child sex trafficking, which is indeed a horrific problem with the human race. But there seems to be something more to these tunnels. Tunnels leading underground are one of Earth's greatest mysteries and can be found all over the world and all throughout history. Phil Schneider, a structural engineer who spent 17 years as a military contractor building deep underground military bases, went on a tour giving lectures and blowing the whistle on what he witnessed. He claimed there were 129 deep underground bases in America alone, all of which were the size of a small city. He found that some of these underground bases were connecting to ancient underground tunnels and cave networks that were inhabited by a non-human species, which he ran into while building an underground base beneath Dulce, New Mexico. Schneider said that the Dulce area was a hub of underground bases, all connected by a high-speed underground rail system. Less than a year after blowing the whistle, Schneider died under suspicious circumstances. Dulce, New Mexico is 170 kilometers from the Four Corners, an area known for the Skinwalkers, who the Hopi tribe describe as a non-human species that live underground. Dulce is 260 kilometers from Scientology's heavily guarded underground Trementina base. And Dulce is 200 kilometers from Jeffrey Epstein's Zorro Ranch, which is known to have an 8,000 square foot underground level and is rumored to lead even deeper underground. According to several prominent scientists who Jeffrey Epstein had as guests, Epstein hoped to seed the human race after a cataclysm by impregnating 20 women at a time at the Zorro Ranch. According to researcher Christopher John Bejerkness, the goal of breeding Jewish seed lines with Gentile women is the fulfillment of Kabbalistic legends of Samael and Lilith. According to Bejerkness, the Kabbalistic teachings include a geocentric model of the Earth with an underworld that extends seven levels beneath the surface where a reptilian species lives. These legends foretell a cleansing of the Earth when everyone on the surface will perish and only those in the underworld will survive. High-level Freemasons allegedly believe in a hollow Earth where a non-human species rule from an underworld called Agartha and their most guarded secrets seem to revolve around a cyclical cataclysmic event. Phil Schneider also built submarine bases and said that most were connected to the vast network of deep underground bases. Ghislaine Maxwell had a submarine license and was known to transport people to Epstein Island through an underwater submarine port. The US military built a submarine base on St. Thomas Island, which is just 13 kilometers from Epstein Island. And right next to this submarine base is Water Island, owned by Joe Biden's brother and their business associate. In a recent interview on Iconic, Juliet Bryant, who was kidnapped by Jeffrey Epstein for two years, said that she never witnessed any of the dozens of girls there being trafficked to any men other than Epstein. But she did wake up once paralyzed on a lab table and witnessed Epstein shapeshift into something else. You know, and I still want to know why exactly I was taken there because there's a lot more weird stuff going on because, you know, I didn't see any girls getting trafficked to other men. So uh, there's something else that they were doing. Which That's really fascinating in, in itself. And we have a lot of um, talk, and this doesn't get talking about, spoken about that much, but it's the the kind of cloning DNA part that he was obviously transhumanism that he was interested in. Did that come up anywhere? Did you see any signs? Well, I mean, obviously there's scientists. I'm just going to put it out there right now. I, I, I woke up in a laboratory there one night. Wow. You know, these are the things I haven't wanted to talk about because it's frightening. But there were scientists there, you know, and I, I woke up one night in a laboratory paralyzed and naked on a table. I, w I would like to be lie detected on this. You know, there are other weird things that I saw. I saw Epstein shift in front of my eyes. It was very, very frightening. And it's just something that I had to explain to myself because I saw him turn into something. Greg Reese reporting.